barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the subscribe button so i know everyone was waiting on me to respond to this stuff as to what's going on with kenny for diverse youtubers i got my kids with me uh so i'm not sure how long i can make this video but i try and get it in and i'll start by saying this my job is to promote the fight he's an ally he's a friend of mine he's a friend of my family and my job is to promote and make people conscientious of the fight is September 8th and that's why I was putting out the interviews as I was putting it out put it out put out a one question out every day put out a piece out every day so it stays in the, in people's conscious mind and the same way I did that the same way I, I do black fight fan I I purposely mention black fight fan consistently every day in my videos one because he's a friend of mine and two I want y'all guys to buy a shirt so I'm all, videos all day. thank you Lincoln and I uh, want you guys to go buy the shirts. That's why I consistently say his name every day. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and to take this to another level. Hi. On two prongs, you guys Hi. should be... I'm talking about not you guys. I'm, well, I'm, I'm talking not you guys in terms of separating myself. But that's YouTubers, LDBC, New Media. Two things. Your mission statement... Is coming to fruition. People in high places are talking about and or responding to you. And two, other YouTube, other quote unquote huge, such as Fight Hype and all these guys, are asking questions in response to your commentary, in response to your topic of conversation. So at the end of the day, this conversation is not about are we broke? Are we this? Are we the topic of conversation is where you guys are penetrating them you guys are pen I'm, I'm saying you guys because uh some of you guys view me as an adversary i, I watch some of you guys videos but i'm just gonna lump it all together all right you guys say i watch everything i don't watch tv i'm not gonna sit here and lie and say i don't watch the, your channel i don't watch i watch it all man all right and i tell you guys this off the rip the conversation should be you're penetrating the marketplace and at the end of the day that's where it should be all right so, at the, so you guys should be giving yourselves a round of applause. All right. Now, a, as it relates to uh, Kenny Porter talking about uh, uh, buying the ticket to the fight, buying front row seat or the ringside seats, and introduce yourself to him. At the end of the day, I've had this conversation with 78. I've had this conversation with Black Fight Fan, Town Business. And these are people that I talk to out at LBC. Follow, Make sure you give it to Mommy. Okay, and uh, uh, at the end of the day, we need we need representation. One second, put it right there. Keep it closed so Kennedy don't go through the door. Put it on your car cover. Put the flower on your car cover so when mommy pull up, she'll see it. Lincoln, close the close the door so Kennedy won't go through. Yeah. All right. Now, <laughs> as it relates. Where was I? As it relates to that, I, 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 I've been a huge advocate, a huge advocate of representation at the fights. We need representation at the fight. I don't want to get into who's better, who has more money, who's bigger, who's stronger. I got allies on both sides of the fence. When you have allies on both sides of the fence, you just make sure it's a clean, clear fight. That's it. You don't allow no one else to jump in because this is that. But we're not getting on this level. The point of... Kenny's response to y'all is the fact that you're penetrating the marketplace. All right. And I think that is so essential. But as I level up this conversation, there needs to be representation. All right. I would consider myself one of the few that carries the mantle in terms of driving home the message to these guys in person. All right. To the boxing media, to the boxers, the promoters, the managers. I carry... Uh, my, our, we mission statement to the forefront. My job, everyone knows in media, my job is to protect, propel black fighters' profile. I, I, I make no qualms or if, ands, or buts about it. And I'm a huge advocate of that. And, and I, I've told you guys years ago, months ago, there's two people I am biased. Don't come to my channel for. I don't have to repeat this over and over and over again. I said the Watsons and the Porters. 
All right, I am unwavering on that. Friends of the family, guys. Like at the end of the day, there's no terms of being unbiased or objective. Guys, be real. Be be real. Through yourself, you know others, right? It's like me being disrespectful, like being blatantly disrespectful to a '78 Black Fight fan, and I know these guys. I'm not. I'm, I I wouldn't allow that to happen on the other side of the fence either. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 I I genuinely believe that you guys respect the fact that I have loyalty. I have loyalty to the brand, which is the profile of the black fighters, and I have loyalty to uh, the people who I deem close to me. All right, and I'm not going to waver on that. I'm unwavering on. I I'm I'm a very fearless man, and if you haven't figured that out by now, that's who I am. Okay, and uh, I want us all to win. And so the conversation is not about getting a front row seat to the fight and introducing yourself to Kenny Porter. And uh, the, the, uh, the point of it all is, uh, I, when I say point of it all, I think of the Anthony Hamilton song. If you ain't played that shit for your girl. Oh, I cursed in front of my dog. If you ain't played that for your girl, you're missing out. You know, rest in peace to Aretha Franklin. I grew up to her. One of the more beautiful souls. Hey, Kiki. Let's see if I can distract you for a hot second. I gotta distract you so I can finish this video. Okay, I'll get it. So, so at the end of the day, I'm gonna have to come back and probably do a part two to this. At the end of the day, congratulations, New Media LDBC. It's working. Congratulations, Kenny. You have we have promoted this fight to a fever pitch. Now everyone has to choose sides. I don't care what no one say. You're going to be watching this fight to get the results. Whether you're rooting for Kenny or whether you're rooting for Danny Garcia, you can't wait to do your post fight interview. You cannot wait, and I know it because through yourself, like I gotta say, through yourself, you know others. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, it is what it is, man. I just uh, no, no, no. Okay, now. Uh, let's. What else do I think we need to talk about? Um, oh, I watched uh, Junior the Truth video, and uh, thank you for donating, love, uh, for real, for real. When I was making reference to put down the chicken and all that, when people dis, here's my stance. I don't call. Bars up competitions. You're getting closer and closer. That's not yet. You're not there yet. But uh. <laughs> When I, let me finish this video, Kent Lincoln. All right, let me finish this video real quick. And uh, when you have and uh, Lincoln, ask you for a favor, please. Can I finish this video, please? Yeah. Go play. Thank you. All right. So when uh, when YouTubers and media get disrespectful towards these fighters and call them out their name, you understand what I'm saying? Then. I believe that's where you cross the line. There's only one fighter in the history of barbershop conversation where I've been disrespectful towards, and that's Oscar. Because I am willing to fight Oscar. I am willing to fight Oscar for his blatant disrespect and ignorance towards the culture in which I, I deem dear to me. And when I said you need to put down the chicken, and, and I'm being real, like if... Uh, if you challenge somebody, if you call someone out their name, you call, like, say, for example, since we're talking about Kenny Porter, when you, if you call Kenny Matthew Porter K. Diddy, being disrespectful, calling a man out his name, you have no merit in my eyes. You have no merit because and, and, you have to say that to his face. And, 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 my, and my goal is you have to find a way to say it to his face. You can't live on YouTube and call the man out his name for 10 years, 15 years, however, however long you've been doing it. That's what I deem what a man is. If, if you are that disrespectful online, you got to find a way to tell him in person. I intentionally use my own money to go to the DMV area to confront Oscar De La Hoya. That was my whole purpose. I told you guys before I left. I told you guys a month in advance. So... This the same expectation I have of myself. It's the same expectation of, uh, that I have of another man. When you disrespectful calling another man out his name, you got to see him. 
It's like my issue with Jarrell Big Baby Mill. I said, you know what? I can't call Big Big Baby Jarrell Big Baby Mill a bitch ass. I can't call. Ooh, they, oh, I can't. <laughs> my kids, man. I can't call him that because then I got to see the man. Can't call him that. All right. I I I. I, I I can't do that. And go back and you guys been watching that. Many of you guys saw that video. I can't do that. All right. And at the end of the day, we got to be men at the end of the day. All right. We have to be men at the end of the day. All right. Now, if you're consistently disrespecting fighters, calling them out their names, calling them scared, calling them gay, calling them uh, what other address? I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about. I'm not just talking about Kenny Porter. I'm talking about uh, just fighters in general, calling them scared. Calling them punks, <laughs> sissies, whatever adjective you guys can think of to describe these fighters, you have to because it's it's your it's your journalistic responsibility to tell them to their face. It's kind of like when um, Jim Rome called Jim Everett Chris Everett when he said, "Call me Chris Everett one more time." He said Chris Everett, and some furniture started moving. Literally, <laughs> you know what I mean. So I, and, and 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 that's just what I stand on. I I stand firm on that. I and I believe it the same way. I told Derek James and Earl Spence in New York, I'm uncertain. Indications. I'm uncertain. I'm uncertain. I'm uncertain. Indications. I'm uncertain if Earl Spence can beat Kel Brook. Uncertain. I wouldn't. Let me finish this video, Lincoln, please. No. Please. Let me finish this video, please. I'm almost done, okay? All right, now, what I told... You can sit with me, that's fine. What I told them is, is I'm uncertain. The same thing I said on the videos leading up to the fight is the same thing I told them in New York, whatever fight that was at. I, I'm uncertain of whatever fight that was in New York that I went to. I think it was maybe Birdo. I don't know what fight that was, but we had that great conversation. Me, him, Al Bernstein. Uh, it was a, three or four of us there, and we had a great conversation. Mm -hmm. and, and the same thing I said leading up to the fight is the same thing I told them. I don't disrespect fighters. I don't call fighters scared. Uh, there's only one fighter that I think is fearful in boxing, and that's Anthony Joshua. And guess what I'm going to do when I interview him? I'm going to call him fearful, okay? Um, why does the fear exist? You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, that's just simply what I believe in from a manhood perspective. You understand? I, 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 I've had private conversations with people uh, in YouTube about... Always taking the high road. You know, I do my best. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I'm not coming to you guys as God. I'm coming to you guys as a human who wants to be great. All right. I want to be great. All right. And and the reason why I want to be great, because you hear these two voices to my left. That's a huge reason as to why I want to be great. When I'm long and gone 50 years from now, I want people to say, you know what? Your father was a great man. He did great for the sport of boxing. He did great for consistently giving these kids in the inner city free haircuts, free backpacks. You know what I mean? Paying for these kids to go to school. Buying random kids uh, brand new pairs of shoes. Like, I, I, 50 years from now, I want them to walk up to, to my son and my daughter and tell that. And, 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 and that may come off as egotistical, but at the end of the day, I have a legacy to live. I, I'd rather my legacy be he was a great man and question whether he did it for selfish reasons versus he was an angry, selfish, ungrateful man who didn't love himself nor didn't want to make the community better. So it's your choice whether you want to believe I'm doing it for selfish reasons or genuinely out of love. But at the end of the day, however I give it, it still goes to the receiver. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, I'm going to do a part two on this. There's probably some stuff I'm really missing out. And uh, like I said... I told you guys this a year ago or six months ago, three months ago. I'm unwavering on my relationships. You understand? I, I don't waver on my relationship. The same way, the same way I attacked Fight Hype about Blue Blood, the same way I attacked Mashoy Joy Phelps. And, 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 and I conducted myself with facts. You understand what I'm saying? I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Alright, the same way I, I I did that with them is the same, same way. All right, and 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 you guys should know that Let's with me by now. Go. You guys know my affinity for the Watsons. You guys know my affinity for the Porters. It ain't going oh. nowhere. All right, so uh, at the end of the day, I'm gonna have to come back and do this video because y'all don't want to see Lincoln in the background. I'll come back and do a part two. Barbershop conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button.
and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.